Well, I went on about a three decade search for human potential. Once I had a very profound change in my life in my um, mid 20s, I had basically been a, uh, well, let me start at the start. I had been a very stressed out, fearful child, and I have no idea why. I had a good home and good family, but something inside of me was just always in a state of stress. I developed migraine headaches. I went through a lot of my childhood with severe uh, migraine headaches. I was in and out of doctor's office. I couldn't get any relief for that. I bumbled my way through uh, high school. I uh, went to college because I was told that was the thing that you were supposed to do. So I started, uh, I enrolled in, in college in the Midwest and I was academically dismissed with a .57 GPA, kicked out of college, and I started working minimum wage jobs. I stumbled around in my life with no direction and no purpose. And at one point, I was standing in at latest job, which was in a steel and aluminum fabrication plant that was family owned. And I was standing in there covered in grease and just something changed inside of me. A light came in on, it, it just, it just, I felt a surge of power in me. I felt my consciousness change and I felt this confidence and I had this clarity. It was like I could see my old life from 50,000 feet and I saw all of the patterns in it and I also saw where I was headed. And I didn't know exactly where I was headed, but I knew I was on the way up. And at that moment, I mean, just in a flash, everything for me changed and I knew my life was going to change. And I almost, I, I, well, I did immediately leave work that day. And I, ha I was just in this empowered state. And I went and I started pursuing what I could do with the rest of my life. And I had previously had a good experience with chiropractic care for, with healing and injury. And so I had talked to a, a, a chiropractor about this and learned a little bit about it and said, yeah, that's, that's part of my path. And so I jumped onto that. I called the school to find out what I had to do to get into the program. I found out it's a doctoral program, okay? I'm thrown out of my first year of college with a .57 GPA. They say you've gotta do all of this undergrad work and not only get, do you have to do it, but you have to have a certain GPA to even be able to get into the college if you do do it. But I was, I was on fire at that point and so I, I found a college that would take me in another city. I moved almost immediately, I enrolled, I started doing my undergrad work. I actually ended up taking uh, 32 credit hours of college a semester, which is more than double the normal load. And I aced all of my classes and I, I mean, I was just flying through it and I got a, a high GPA, I got into the chiropractic college, I went through the three year chiropractic college, uh, I went through the four-year chiropractic college in three years uh, on an accelerated program. I graduated on the national dean's list with, with honors from the professional school. And I saw at that time chiropractic as one little piece of the puzzle that I had to, I had to discover what was it that changed inside of me. And I just started devouring everything I could that had anything to do with personal growth and personal development and consciousness studies. And I just went on this compulsive search to find out why did this happen to me? And what I found was, is that th throughout history, through thousands of years, that there were cases of people having these profound changes of consciousness and profound changes in their life from a whole variety of different techniques. But the problem was is that most of the time it was spontaneous or they were using some technique and one out of a thousand of them would, would ha have any change. And so I then started to realize as I started digging deeper that a missing link, when I started to really understand neuroscience and brain physiology and realizing that almost none of these traditions, none of the wisdom traditions or yoga philosophies or any of this had access to the understanding we had today about the, about the brain 
playing a major part in our development and associated with these higher states of consciousness, particularly this higher place of the brain. And a light kind of came on for me at some point that this physiology of the brain was the missing link in so much personal growth and, and personal development. And so I started seeking out things then that I could learn from different quasi-chiropractic techniques, uh, NSA care, cranial sacral therapy, yoga techniques, all of this stuff I started learning pieces of and integrating and synthesizing. And I started doing a lot of research and development on these ancient pathways and this latent energy. Once I knew that this higher part of the brain had evolved and wasn't getting its energy and I started just putting this together and and it came from just years of research and development to create this protocol that shifted energy into the into the higher brain